For those new to the channel, my name is Rick. And as a, as part of a series where I uh, reveal some that is covered in our uh, new book, The Definitive Guide to Power Query M, I reveal some parts of the book so you have an idea of what's coming. And in this episode, I want to delve with you into the formula firewall. The formula firewall is an error that people keep running into and it's not so easy to solve it. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can go to solve it. So the formula firewall, it's a mechanism that protects your data. So query folding is a mechanism in Power Query that allows you to uh, create a query and it automatically transform your query into SQL code. But with that comes a risk because if your query translates your SQL code and there are sensitive data in that query, then any smart database administrator or somebody else who monitors your network could catch your queries and find that data embedded within the query. So the formula firewall was meant to prevent this. You can set your privacy settings so that only the data sources that are allowed to combine can make use of query folding. But at the same time, it also uh, makes sure that you, you don't dynamically reach out to make a data request and make use of a parameter from another file which could change. And that's what we're going to look at today. So in chapter 15, optimizing performance, we delve into the formula firewall, what it's for, and the different kinds of reasons there are for the error to appear. We also show strategies. And today I want to particularly look at the, the error message you can get for referencing other partitions. So on the screen, I'm going to show you an example on how we're going to make a web request. So what is that request about? I went to new query web and I made a connection to powerquery.how, the function documentation website for Power Query. Now, if I press OK here, this will generate a new query that gets the HTML code from the website. So here I can see all of that. And if I click on HTML code and click OK, this is what it looks like. So I get the web browser contents function that has a text value, which is the website. So this is the first way in which we could connect to the website, which I will pass to the web request in the beginning here. Perfect. We don't have any problem here at all. A second way in which we could reference Power Query How is I could create a new parameter and I could store my my parameter as I'll just call it native parameter so that you know the type of parameter I'm referencing. And likewise, I can add the website Power Query How in here. Put the native parameter in the my parameter folder and I'll copy this link and put it in a native parameter staff. And instead of hard coding this, I'm going to now reference the native parameter. Now, as you can see, everything is still fine. Now let's find out if we can break our code with the formula firewall error. So on my computer, I stored an Excel file and that Excel file contains the URL to Power Query How. So I can double click on it. This will open a uh, dialog box, which allows me to uh, basically get the data that I need. So this is a table in the Excel file with a website in the header and the website URL in the in the values. Now I can click OK. And after clicking OK, let me rename this to Excel parameter and move it to the parameter folder. Now, if I want to reference this, it's easiest if I click on drill down. Here we go. So we now have an actual parameter here. Now let's see what happens if we try to reference this. So I'm going to copy this code again, and I'm going to go to Excel parameter, and I'm going to reference the Excel parameter like this. Now, as you can see, we, we get an error now. And this is one of the dreaded formula firewall errors that says it references other queries or steps, so it may not directly access a data source. Please rebuild this data combination. 
Now there are certain rules to the formula firewall, which we cover in depth in the definitive guide to Power Query M. But in short, what it means is I can access the data source with web browser contents, which it will. But at the same time, I'm accessing another data source, the Excel parameter, which is residing within the Excel file. Now, the formula firewall rules state that this is not allowed. So because I try to reach out to another partition and because I reach out to another data source, the error appears. Now, how can we solve this? That's the most important question you might have. Let's have a look. So this didn't work out, but one way to solve this is I'm going to make a copy of the Excel parameter and I will call this an Excel parameter function. And if I open the advanced editor, then this is the code that we have for normally getting to the Excel parameter. Now I can make an extra step. I could say my function is just a name equals I'm opening and closing like uh, to indicate that I need a function with zero parameters. I'm using the goes to operator and uh, my function goes to and I'm just referencing the previous step. There we go. So by just adding this line and referencing the step before, I'm going to turn this uh, query into a function. Now I can reference this function from the web request that we have. So we tried the Excel parameter that didn't work. Now I can paste this in here. And instead of referencing the parameter, I'm going to reference the parameter function. Uh, and I still need to open and close my brackets here. Press OK. So even though both of these queries use the Excel file to get the URL, the Excel parameter didn't work, but the parameter that we called from a function, that one worked. Now let me show you another way we could do this. Saw this Excel parameter that gave an error. Instead of referencing the Excel parameter in another query, like here, we could also add the code for the Excel parameter within the same query. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to copy paste this. Here we go. Go to that warp request version. And I'm going to now add an extra step that contains all of the logic to get the parameter code. So I could say, here we go. And here I'm going to say my parameter, my Excel parameter equals, here we go, in a website and a comma. So all the code that I have here are going to be uh, stored in the my Excel parameter part. I'm going to press OK. As a first step, we now see the URL of Power Query How and I can reference it with a my Excel parameter step name. Now, if I go here and I change this to my Excel parameter, the formula firewall error just disappears. Now let's reflect on why that happens. Before, when we tried to reference the formula firewall, uh, the, the Excel parameter, we referenced a separate query. Now, when Power Query looks for the for how safe it is to make a reference it partitions different steps in our queries so what will happen is each of our steps will get a dedicated partition power query then has certain rules to make the partitions bigger so for example if you have a native parameter like we had up here a reference to it is not considered a reference to a separate partition if you have an excel parameter an Excel parameter is actually referencing another file. And with the rules of how things are partitioned, this is considered a separate partition because it's stored in a separate query. But since we now moved all of this logic into the query here, so it's not referencing another query, but we stored it in there. Instead of having separate partitions, actually this entire part here is now considered the same partition. Now that's what the whole problem was about, because if I remove this, it says references to other queries or steps. 
that's what it was doing before. It was referencing another query and it tried to access the data source. But by moving our values into the same query, it's not currently referencing another partition, but it does access another data source. And this is allowed. So the two main strategies to prevent errors here is either you need to store your parameter as a function. If you then call it here, then the function is called within the same query and the logic is then also run within the same query. Or you can actually include the Excel parameter within the same steps in the same query. Either way, they will all be partitioned in the same partition and you are, you are able to run your queries without the referencing other partitions error. Now that's all I'm going to say about it. There is a lot more to be said about this and about performance and about setting up your queries. And if you want to learn more about that formula firewall, I'll just say it again. We do delve into it in the definitive guide. And I'm sure there's a lot of other different topics in there. The book is uh, 750 pages. And uh, I highly recommend looking into it if you want to improve your M skills. That's all I wanted to say for today. I hope to see you in the next episode. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh -huh.